the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins on the market. Check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniffed out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another defensive video for you guys today. I'm going to show you guys a blitz that I've been using and having a lot of success with online. I just put out a gameplay from this. I'll have a link in the description below if you guys want to check that out. But ultimately, this is one of the better uh, pass defenses slash since the patch. is honestly a, a very good coverage as well. I feel like cover two zone definitely got better. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna show you guys uh, the breakdown. But if you guys want to see more videos like this, as Woo! always, hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, it's going to get right into the play the formation itself was the two four five nickel this is another blitz out of my dolphin slash giants ebook link in the description if you guys want to check that out and the play itself is the nickel blitz two now i pretty much just use this as a scheme I mean, you have some really good man blitzes like the overstorm brave um you know i'm going to show you guys a full scheme but first we're going to start off with the nickel blitz two on the offensive side we're just going to go uh with something we'll go with the gun bunch because obviously a ton of people use that so we'll go with that as always this video is brought to you by my coin sponsor aoeah.com if you guys want to get your mutt team up and support this channel at the same time every time you click that link in the description and get coins from them you support this channel so i really appreciate you guys for doing that and as far as the setup goes the only thing you really have to do is blitz this guy here and bring him right down this gap between the guard and the center if you come over here a little bit sometimes it helps to get the cornerback off if you come over here a little bit further sometimes it helps to get the defensive end off on the other side so you have some control over what you want to or you know who you want to get in free uh, there you can see the cornerback came in free any additional coverage adjustments I would make I'd probably go over the top sometimes I run my cornerbacks at 25 yards so they don't get beat with streaks um, I also like the base of the line, show blitz, and base of the line just so the safeties come down. Because any crossers, the safeties are pretty much going to, um, you know, they're going to get in the way a lot better of early throws. And that's really what I'm counting on is early throws based off the fact that this defense uh, typically gets pressure pretty quick. So we'll go ahead one more time. We said corner comes in free, and we get a sack. A lot of times defensive end will come off also. I'm guessing everybody went out on a pattern. This guy here will get in a lot of times opposite uh, pass blocking running back. But you can see him. It's a five on five and we're getting instant pressure. Um, so that's something that, you know, obviously I will take all game. And then, you know, you have to be aware of things over the middle. I mean, I really went to the outside because that's one of the weaknesses. Uh, but there's really not a lot open here. I mean, this is, you know, based off of this pressure, what's really going to get open in that amount of time? I typically want to make sure I have my fastest cornerback outside here, which I really don't have right now. Um, so that's something to be aware of. So let's go on, let's do this one more time. I can also pinch this guy here, pinch the defensive line just to try to pull more spacing away. And then we get that instant pressure again. As you can see, the quarterback gets hit, gets an incomplete pass. So there's a lot of different things. The pinching really would probably help most against the run because if it's gonna be an inside run, I keep forgetting to guess pass too, but if it's gonna be an inside run, that's typically going to be um, you know, where it's gonna go. And then you can see, like I said, the pressure, the, the, the coverage, streaks aren't there post-patch. Like the, the, the safeties play a lot better post-patch. So you can see we have very good coverage over the top. I'm guessing the pressure got in here. As you can see, we get pressure off that cornerback. But ultimately, like I said, even with these safeties pressed and playing down, pre-patch, they would get roasted by this. And you can see even, even, even the cornerback is on top of it. So it's like he tries to go up top of the streak. That's just not there anymore when it comes to cover two. Gotcha, bitch. Like I said, right there. I mean, like I said, cover two zone, definitely one of the better uh, post-patch defenses. It does a much better job of taking away deep routes. I said, you can really go any number of gaps. Woo! We get an instant A gap that time, based off the fact that we, we move that uh, that blitzer over. Like I said, I already showed you can go over the center. If I come over on this side, you can see right here, it actually lets the A gap through. Or not the A gap, it's more like a B gap, but still, he lets that guy go through and then he basically picks up the cornerback. So there's a lot of different things you can do by basically you know moving along the line. So baseline, show blitz, baseline is pretty much my favorite setup there. So I'll keep coming over here and then I'll basically just guess pass. That's the most important part. Like I said, occupy that guard. You see that cornerback comes around the running back and the tackle on that play for an instant sack. Like I said, this isn't necessarily um, the fastest cornerback. I said I typically want my fastest cornerback or my best cornerback. I don't even know if that's a cornerback. That might be a safety. I have no idea who that guy is. But on this play here, he just comes ripping around the play action and the tackle. Which, like I said, the, the, if typically it'll happen this way. If the running back is on the other side, which you typically want to run this blitzer off the edge opposite 
the running back, he will get around that running back, even if the running back's blocking. So this is a five man on six uh, blockers, and he still gets right around it. And at the end of the play, you got two guys blocking nobody. So baseline show blitz baseline. Let's do it one more time. It doesn't really matter what what gap you come down into. Like I can come all the way over here, and should have the same success. It's just going to pull the line over, and you see that cornerback's coming off the edge. Like lightning speed again, Cam Newton does a stand. Oh, it's Mac Jones. I'm still expecting Cam Newton to be out here. So, like I said, just really fast pressure off the blitz. Doesn't matter what gap you you stand in front of. Um, I just find that you know sometimes you get pressure a little bit quicker. I find the most success was standing down in the gap next to this guy, but uh, you can get it from pretty much anywhere. So I got two more plays for the scheme, but like I said, this particular play is not necessarily the best. So that plays a really good blitz. It's a really good uh, outside run defense because of the blitzing cornerback, but it's not a very good inside run defense. So you're always going to want to have that in your audibles. I would say my audible setup would look something like this, where I'm going to have the nickel blitz too. I'm going to have um, the, where is it out here? The cover four quarters, and I also have the overstorm brave. I just want to send the house up the middle. And the cover two man. Those are the four plays that I would run the most. As far as the uh, the best run defense, is definitely going to be cover four quarters. So let's pick that. We're going to force uh, some inside runs we'll just go ahead and pick um halfback base let's play here if you baseline show blitz baseline again your safeties will come down the box and your cornerbacks won't your cornerbacks won't get to the point where they're just going to get roasted if you do that and you don't guess pass these safeties will do a really good job of stopping the run or at least playing the run first compared to you know cover twos they don't they just drop back right away so i mean this is something where you know you can basically just have uh success uh more if you just basically run the cover four and just you know basically bring the safeties down to the box they'll just, just do a much better job of stopping the run as you can see right there the safety comes down and fills but any other defense these safeties drop back right away cover four they walk down to the box and they basically just play the run uh like linebackers so this is you know it's like having additional linebackers in the field you just want to make sure you rock this cover four against any run anybody that's running the ball a lot have this in your arsenal so i'm going to do it again baseline show blitz baseline and shift your defense to that side too because if it's going to be a run it's going to be a, an inside zone or something like that and then like i said you just have the safety just play the run much better so it's one of the better run defenses in a very pass heavy defensive package so that's it that's the vid if you guys want to see more defensive plays like this out of my dolphins ebook on youtube hit the like button let me know in the comment section other than that thanks for watching man my shit out need more help or just want to show your support then head over to my patreon and join my team where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays as well as early access to my bids and more link in the description below Thank you.